I'm Sally Horchow, and this is Very Good Looking, where you can find taste every day. Experiential travel is one of the fastest growing segments of the travel industry. And why not? Taking a trip with your friends and doing fun stuff? What could be better? I recently went down to Cabo, Mexico, which is a perfect destination for any girlfriend getaway. It has a resort for every type of friend group and margaritas flowing. Let's take a look. We chose the one and only Palmilla for this trip because we wanted a no holds barred, totally luxurious relaxation vacation for my sister's 50th birthday. The services and amenities here are absolutely endless. We had butlers, we had masseuses, there were constantly things in our room for us to eat. It was amazing. A couple of tips when you're choosing your room at the one and only Palmia. First of all, make sure you know the square footage and configuration of your room. Check it online before you actually book it. All the rooms are nice, but they may not be exactly what you want. Also, try to get a room on the second floor. The first floor is kind of loud because they're beautiful terracotta tiles on the second floor, and you can hear people walking around. Finally, check online to see if they have any deals. If your group is gonna be spending a lot of time at the spa, sometimes they have a girlfriend getaway package, or if you're gonna be here for four or five days, you can get the final night for free. If at all possible, get one person in the group to upgrade to a suite or some kind of room that can accommodate everybody for fun activities. Part of our package is having a foot massage, so we decided to have it together, overlooking the ocean. And make sure to check out verygoodlooking.com for my tips on what to choose for lunch, because it's a little bit hit or miss. Rancho Pescadero is a completely different kind of girlfriend's getaway than the others. It's not quite as luxurious, but it's for a very laid back, surfer vibe kind of crew. If you guys want to just hang out, order fish tacos, which are delicious by the way, and do some surf lessons or something like that, this is the place for you. So if you're looking for an authentic Mexican experience, staying at the Rancho Pescadero and then going into Todos Santos to check it out is really the way to go. If you're into aesthetics and tranquility, Las Ventanas is definitely the place. They allow kids here, but you won't see many families. I mean, it's not completely tranquil. They have a tequila bar. And one of the things I love to do on my girlfriend getaways is to have some kind of quest. This time, it's been the quest for the perfect jalapeno margarita. And I finally found it here. Very excited. Cheers. So whatever margarita you choose and whatever room type, whether it's Cabo or Cincinnati or right across town, it doesn't matter. The point is taking a getaway with your girlfriends is a great way to catch up without the constraints of your everyday life, the screaming children, the other distractions, so that you can come back refreshed, anew, inspired, hopefully not too hungover, and get back to your very good looking life. And that will be very good looking.